my name is Gabi Frankreich and today I'm going to show you this free bedroom apartment here in Lisbon. It is situated in Bairro Alto, which is one of the very famous old parts here of the city. It's a very nice and calm street and there are almost no cars passing. They also can stop here, so you have no traffic in the street. Um, we are very close to Chiando metro station and also in a few minutes walking distance from Hato metro station. Um, around here you have a lot of very nice bars and restaurants and um, there are also small markets that you can use. So let's have a look. So we are starting the tour here in the main entrance of the apartment. I have the entrance door right on my back and when we come in we get to this L-shaped corridor that first leads us to bathroom number one which is here on this left side. So let's get in. So it has a very nice and big shower here in this corner, beside it a bidet and a toilet and close to the entrance door there is this sink with a very nice big mirror on top. So as we go on to the left um, the corridor takes us to bedroom number one here on the right side and to the kitchen and bedroom number two in the end but first I want to turn right and show you the living room so it has um, two small balconies with nice big glass doors over there it has a round table with um, chairs one chair is on the balcony so it's for four chairs this space here and here we have um, the sofa and another big chair on this side so let's get out to one of the balconies they're all small but um, big enough to put a chair on it as you can see on the last one over there and this is the view here from Bai Huanto as I told you almost no cars passing by it's a very narrow street with this um, beautiful old buildings okay so let's go back I want to show you this view here from the living room this um, glass door here on the right uh, is from bedroom number one but it's not used the way um, the sofa is put now and here the stairs go up to bedroom number three and bathroom number two we are going to see them later so now let's get back here to the corridor and turn the first door right to bedroom number one it has a big wardrobe here on the left part and then a nice and cozy double bed with two lamps on each side and here on the right is the door I just showed you um, that goes to the living room so let me show you this room here from this other side again the three-door wardrobe let's have a look on in its interior here so you have an idea of the space you see this cupola I'm sorry for that it's a lot of space in here for hanging clothes and everything so now we get back to the corridor and in the end we get to the kitchen and to bedroom number two so let's see bedroom number two first it has two single beds each one with a little desk and uh, lamps on each side it has um, this chest of drawers or it's more sort of a commode here on the left side and a small balcony this is the back part of the building so what we see here on this side is the back part of the other building behind this one so and that's the balcony so before we leave I want to give you another view here from bedroom number two and now we get to the kitchen it's a nice and spacious modern kitchen fully equipped as you can see let's start from the right we have a cooking plate with an oven um, there's a dishwasher here close to the sink so here we have the sink there's a toaster water boiler coffee machine and a microwave oven and here in the cupboards as you can see all kind of um, 
dishes and glasses. So there's everything here you need for cooking. On this other side, there is a fridge with a freezer below it and a table with four um, sitting possibilities. Here we have in the laundry a washing machine and a dryer. There is a window also to the back part of the building, which is great because it makes the apartment um, very ventilated. We have windows on two opposite sides. And this here is a storage. So there's plenty of space of that kind of stuff we need to have, but we don't want to see. So now we are crossing the corridor back to the living room and getting up the stairs to the second floor. So here on this um, small balcony is the chair I just told you. So in this, these stairs here take us um, to the upper floor where we have bedroom number three and bathroom number two. As you already can see here on the left part of the video. So this is a nice rooftop room with this um, typical ceiling. There is a double bed, there is a shelf here on this side and a fan. Here we have some um, sort of closet, so for all the clothes and everything. There are two windows um, here on the roof on each side. So there's also plenty of light coming in. And this um, one is a suite, so it has uh, the own bathroom here, it's bathroom number two, which is a very nice and big one also. It has a sink with a mirror on top, a shower and a toilet and a shelf on this side. So let me give the, this view here from this nice uh, bathroom. And now we get back to bedroom number three and finish our tour. This was Gabi Freidenreich from Spotterhome Lisbon. I hope you enjoyed the tour and I wish you an amazing stay here.